You don't realize how hopeless Boris is until you see other leaders. I was in Denmark when COVID kicked off. Their leader was a woman. She was amazing. She looked, I'll never forget it, right? I was doing a show in Denmark and my mum was like, ooh, are you doing it in English? <laughs> Probably. But the Danish female leader stood in front of the nation and went, this is serious, we are locking down. Do you know what Boris did the same day? I do, because I watched him. Hello. <laughs> We're going to have to wash our hands. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to wash our hands. Do you remember that moment? Now, we need to wash our hands for 20 seconds. The way I like to remember 20 <laughs> is by singing happy birthday to myself. <laughs> Our leader gave us that advice. I was like, how thick do you think we are? We can't count to 20. <laughs> and yet, an hour later, I was in a toilet in Copenhagen. Happy birthday <laughs> to me. I thought I was alone. Have you ever had a moment like that? Oh, the look of confusion. This poor Danish man saw me doing that. He just went, happy birthday. <laughs> Talking of female leaders, apparently the countries run by women did better in the pandemic than the ones run by blokes. Yeah. <laughs> Makes total sense to me. All women are resilient, compassionate, unfazed. <laughs> you bleed out yourselves once a month, you're not bothered, are you? <laughs> I've seen the adverts, you're out there roller skating. <laughs> My dad has a sit down after a sandwich. <laughs> if men had periods, there'd be no activities in our ads. We wouldn't, we'd just be watching the telly, crying, going, it's broke. <laughs> Tampax. <laughs> Look at Jacinda Ardern. Look what she did in New Zealand. It's incredible, wasn't it? She pretty much mummed an entire nation. Well, look at me, I'm your mum, OK? We're going to lock down until the disease goes away. We're going to use mum logic. Why don't we drink bleach? Don't listen to your dad. Ha <laughs> ha